the news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel, simply more speed, reliability and entertainment. Final weeks of the sitting of the House of Assembly has seen yet another change. The Virgin Islands party team is now down by one. Junior Minister for Trade and Economic Development, Honorable Shireen Flax Charles, has resigned from the party, and up to press time, she has not released information as to which party she is now associated with. On Sunday, February 12, 2023, the junior minister released a statement indicating her resignation from the party and, among other things, has made it clear her intentions of contesting the upcoming general elections. Quoting her statement, It is known, I never abandoned the job, so let the question go answered. I am seeking re-election to continue the effort which has been entrusted to me. If it is the people's will, I will continue to be their voice and a champion, even if I stand alone." End quote. Honorable Flax Charles' affiliation with the Virgin Islands Party became questionable following a statement by the party's chairman, Premier and Minister of Finance, Dr. The Honorable Natalia D. Wheatley, at the party's February 5 press conference, which was called after they elected their new executive. As it pertains to the ratification of our candidates, we have ratified all our candidates except for District 2, District 3, and we've ratified three of our four territorial at-large um, candidates. Honorable Calvin Malone, Honorable Shari De Castro, and Honorable Neville Smith. Unfortunately, uh, Honorable Shireen Flax Charles uh, did not uh, complete her paperwork properly. It did not satisfy the conditions of the Virgin Islands Party uh, Constitution, and so uh, that will still have to be done. Addressing this in her statement, Honorable Flax Charles said, quote, I pride myself on understanding and operating within laws and rules. While many of you have rightly dismissed the idea that I somehow infringed on the constitution of my former party, I know that for others, this has been a concern as it brings my ethics and frankly, my common sense under scrutiny. Summarizing the Virgin Islands Party Constitution, Article 20, nomination and selection of candidates for the legislature is made abundantly clear that any incumbent the VIP member of the Legislative Council desirous of re-election under the banner of the party is entitled to do so once they have informed the executive by the deadline prescribed. I fulfilled the basic requirements as outlined in Section 4 and made my intentions known to the party's secretary. I could not meet the deadline which Section 1 makes mention of as to date none has been communicated, at least not to me." End quote. She went on to say, Anyone interested in further investigating this exercise of wordplay and paperwork is free to peruse the party's constitution. There will be varied opinions as there always are, but what I can share is that my interpretation 
is supported by a senior party member's written correspondence. Ultimately, this is a minor matter. When compared to the tremendous challenges we face as a territory, it warrants no further dialogue. I only raise this for two reasons. It is important to me that you all continue to know that I do not play party games and that I have complete respect for fair protocol and due process. Whatever clerical mishaps and misunderstandings may have occurred, I hold no animosity towards my former party as this only reassures me of what I have been considering for a time." End quote. This was met with retort from the Virgin Islands party who in a statement shortly after said, Quote, Contrary to what was stated in the press release by Honorable Flax Charles, the party maintains that the paperwork submitted did not satisfy the requirements. Honorable Flax Charles received the written correspondence of what needed to be rectified and to date has made no attempts to do so. End quote. Now, meantime, the territory awaits confirmation from Honorable Flax Charles of which party she intends to run with for the upcoming general elections. Will it be the National Democratic Party, NDP, the Progressive Virgin Islands Movement, PVIM, or PU, Progressive United? Or will she go independent? And will she run at large again? Or will she seek to become representative of District 9? We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well. ways to enjoy life, like so many ways to count on Popular. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle.
Sign up today, Digicel Plus.